Welcome to the Your Power Echo Show with Julie Silk Kalunji live of JulesCalpoli.com. And I'm so excited to share with you marketing done right. If you're in direct sales, online space, network marketing, online marketing, uh, MLM, if you have a small business, if you own a business, if you're trying to build a business, if you hope to start a business, you need to save this video, tag yourself in. Uh, I live in Liverpool. I'm a mom of two. Hey, Paul Saul. Uh, I'm a wife to one. I am a high performance, high touch transformational coach. Thank you, Luanga Stella. And I help you package your giftings, your skills, your talents, your knowledge together. Put it in a language that your target audience, audience understands and place it before them so that you can impact more lives. The more lives you impact, the better your bank balance. It sings hallelujah as you impact more lives. So I'm here today to share with you how to do exactly that. Marketing done right. Most of you here are either planning to start something on the side or, or have something that you're doing on the side or are doing full time but you're not getting the results you desire because you are not doing the marketing right and today's love not to you is all about marketing i want you to understand that there are billions of people out there with a need for your product service or platform many of those would possibly buy if you showed them the value many of those don't know you from adam because they just don't because you have not stepped up to to, to be in their space and that is okay it's not your fault but from today if you watch this video if you watch this live and you do not apply then it will be you will no longer have that excuse that i don't know what to do and i don't know who to to go to or whatever because you definitely will have the information. Now, if you are a savvy corporate, you know that you are the CEO. You are the CEO of your job. In other words, your role, your job, that thing you do for your for income, nine to five, you're the CEO. You applied for the contract and you received the job contract as the CEO. So when you apply these tips I'm about to share with you into your job, like you are doing for your own business, you will get promoted. You will get a better role. You will get more money. You'll get a better, you know, increase in, in, in wages. But I am focused on entrepreneurs today. So if you're a savvy corporate, don't go away because when you learn how to reverse engineer this stuff and put it into your daily job and daily uh, monthly annual work, you will get results. How many of you run a business? How many of you hope to start a business? How many of you are doing a side gig that you hope to bring in an income? I want to know, I want to know the ratios so that I know. Number one, like I said, if you are starting a small business, you own a, a, a a family business, you're, you're planning on joining an online business, you are promoting an affiliate network, direct sales marketing business, you are, you are in business of some sort, or you are in your company's marketing department, you are the social media guru in your company, this is for you, right? Number one, do not attempt to sell before you go to the market. Be, do not attempt to sell before you go to the market. Does somebody understand what I'm saying here? Hey, Nicole, how are you doing? Jerome Banda, how are you doing? Awesome. I love it that you understand what I'm saying. So many people do this. They start to sell on the roadside. I mean, I'm not talking about people who sell stuff on the roadside. This is an analogy. A lot of you start selling the minute you walk out the door and you don't know that you're not even talking to nobody and you fail miserably. Hey, Dash and Baines, I see you. You spend more time selling your offers to the wrong people, of course, and they never buy because you're selling before you give the value. So you need to go to the market. Hey, how are you doing, Dashan? Good to see you here. It's been a while. Start by marketing. There's a difference between selling and marketing. Who knows that difference? Who knows that difference? I'd, I'd love to know who knows the difference between selling and marketing. Do you know? Do you know what you are doing? Do you know your shoe from your sock? Do, do you know what goes before the other? It's good to know because, because then I know where to start. If you know you're selling from your marketing, then I'll literally jump to the next point. But let's get on with this point, right? Start by going to the market. What do I mean by going to the market? This is brand exposure. Some of you don't know you're the brand, so I'll, I'll break that down into simple. Promote you. You are that unique ingredient in whatever it is you sell to I told you I've, I've, I've promoted I don't know how many products since I started my business. 
and I still continue to promote them because either I am affiliated to them, their tools I use, their resources I use, their strategies I use, and I continue to promote them. But every single, there, there are millions of other people, thousands of other people who promote the same. How do I differentiate myself? I am unique. I am different. I am fearfully and wonderfully made, and therefore I bring that uniqueness to the pot. So I then bring that uniqueness to you, brand exposure. Many of you know Julie Seal Kalunji. You may know not know what I do, but hey, by the time you're Libya, you will know what I do. Promote you. Promote that uniqueness in you. Share your story. Talk about your experiences. Talk about the, the skills you know without necessarily vomiting down people so they think, ah, it's, it's, it's her again. Learn something called attraction marketing. Teach others some value. Show the value. Show the value. In other words, go to market and spread out your wares before you sell. Zone in into who you want to, to be known to and what you want to be known for. All this done smoothly leads to the selling. So if you go to the market first, you'll be able to sell. You understand? It's very simple. And yet a lot of people make it difficult. So... When you do all this, when you do the brand exposure, when you do the promotional work, when you do the attraction marketing, when you zone in in who you want to serve and you serve them for, you know, like I do every week for free and you teach others the value that you bring to the table, you will close the deal every blessed day. People will come to you without you chasing them. You won't chase family or friends. You won't be begging people on the phone. Okay, at least do one order just so I can meet my sales volume for this month. Please, please help me. I need to, you know, I'm looking for three people who are hungry and targeted and committed who want to change their lives. Please come to me. If you need to change your life today and you need to do this, that and the other, please comment below nothing you won't need to do any of that because you'll be giving value so you don't need to tell people comment below if you want this they will be coming to your inbox that's where the work is the inbox is where the fun happens if you're forever on your newsfeed your inbox is empty and there is a disconnect there if you're a coach if you're a coach or you're wanting to go into the coaching industry or you want to teach people mentor people or you're a mentor of some sort and you want to get paid for your skills Understand that less than 1 in 10,000 people are actually looking for a coach or mentor. It is crazy. Once we leave mainstream education, we, we want to close that door and we don't want to open it again. People think they are done with their education. So 1 in 10,000, can you imagine that? So you will meet with struggle if you go selling instead of marketing the value. Because people don't think they need you as a coach. T. Adams, how are you doing? So instead, market your value. Show the benefits people receive by hanging out with you. Use the incredibly powerful service that is a solution to their problem. Share the incredible, incredible powerful benefits of your product, offer, or service with people. Felicia Dramo, I see how you're doing. People are spending money in your niche. People are already spending money buying stuff that you are selling. But are you speaking to their need and to their desire and showing them the transformation they will receive if they hang around and, and, and align with you and your product or service? You will prosper if you so, show people this. Let me tell you, laser-targeted marketing engages the uniqueness of you, the individual, because you are the unique ingredient in this whole recipe. It creates an ongoing relationship and raises awareness in your target market. It connects the client with their passions and deepest desires. It helps them move past their doubts there and holds them accountable to getting results. That's what laser targeted marketing does. When you zone in on that, when you learn that skill, you will be literally selling your stuff while you sleep on the beach, on, you know, wherever you are. Or in your office, you will be making money. And please, please, please stop telling people that uh, all they need to do is wake up, get to, to get to, to get to, and they're going to make money. The most successful people on this planet do not talk about that. They know there's work involved in building success. And they embrace the work that goes with building success. And they know it does not happen overnight. They embrace the journey and time it takes. Because time is in your control. Yes, it is. 
you're in control of whether you, that your time expands or shrinks according to your needs. If you keep saying, I don't have time, I don't have time, you will exactly receive that self-fulfilling prophecy. If you keep telling people, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy, you will get busy and busier and you will not be producing because you're using the word busy as opposed to, I'm, I'm actually very productive this morning. What can I do for you today? I have, I have some prioritized activities I am getting to that I set in my calendar weeks ago. How can I help you? When you do laser target marketing, I've literally just walked you through how you can do it, right? You will create a deep lasting relationship with the people you're wanting to work with and you're wanting to serve and the sale becomes a walk in the park. So do not sell before. Number two, step number two, is take your business seriously. Don't take yourself too seriously, but definitely take your business seriously. There's a bit, bit of a difference there. Don't take yourself too seriously because life's too sweet to be that grumpy of a serious school teacher, headmistress kind of person. Sorry, head teachers, if you are, because I am a head teacher myself, but I'm, I'm the most smiley, easygoing, easy to approach person. I believe I am. So don't take yourself, ah, someone agrees. Don't take yourself too seriously, but take your business seriously because it involves other people's lives and other people's well-being. I suspect that many of you, if you're in the online space, direct sales, if you're a rep, uh, if you're a distributor or you're looking into that area or you're trying to start your business, you clearly, you can already see the significant increase in value you can add to someone or that person or to your customers or potential or prospects, right? Yet you fail to communicate this effectively. Why? Because you're not taking it as serious as your job. That job that you work at, now that is serious stuff because there are rules. You have to punch in in the morning by nine and you, even if you're going for lunch, you punch out and then you punch back in. And when you're leaving work, you have to punch out so they literally have you on the clock right and then they tell you what to do and when to do it and the deliverables they expect from you and you're kind of used to this kind of managing you're being micromanaged and you like that because it takes away the responsibility of the final result from you all you have to do is do what you need to do and get your paycheck at the end of the month that's okay it's great but the thing is if you take your side gig as seriously as you take your business in the workplace if you take your side gig like it's a serious business and you're the ceo within six months you'll start to see some the changes you're wanting to see i'm not talking about profit yet i'm talking about change in your business you'll start to see attr the traction happening you start to build momentum towards the, the the results you're looking for towards more production towards more sales and towards that profit you're looking for now there's a critical stage you need to know which skills you need to bring to your business which critical information you need to apply to improve your chances of commercial success you're in a commercial entity you know even if you're a charity or a ministry you're still wanting to have more and more money coming in to maintain all those charitable cogs and wheels and bits and bobs so definitely you need to know what you need to bring into your ecosystem to make that happen if you are a rep and you're promoting a product mm. or you're an affiliate, you need, you absolutely need to learn marketing. It is, it, it, without it, you, are, you, are, you have a hobby. It is an expensive hobby because you're paying a monthly authorship or you paid a, a, a lot of money to join this business and you need to bring in the business and the customers and the customers are human beings like you and me and they have your money in their pocket. <laughs> so you need to learn to speak their language. Even before you jump into, into any business, Medina Santos, how are you doing? You need to ask yourself, don't let nobody, don't let that scarcity shit hit you hard, right? Because marketing is, scarcity is all part of a marketing process. I tell you that I'm, I'm going to, I'm promoting this for seven days and it's going to go away in seven times. You'll never see this again. This price I've put, will, you'll never see again. And when you see it again, the price will have gone up, blah, blah, blah. It's not shit, it is part of marketing, right? But don't let that push you into making a decision that is, that is rushed. Ask yourself, I know that Paul is doing great. I know Medina is doing great. I know Miriam is amazing at this. But am I cut out to be an entrepreneur? Am I cut out to sell stuff in a way that gets people to, to, to pay for it? 
Some of us are meant to be consumers and we should be comfortable with that. We, we tend to think that everybody should be out there becoming an entrepreneur, doing stuff. Some of us are meant to be authors, others are meant to be nurses, others are meant to be doctors, others are meant to be managers and, 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 and running the factory, others are meant to be foremen, others are meant to be laborers in the vineyard of life. So deal with it. Do not push yourself to do things that you are not naturally gifted to do unless they are part of the process that you need to go through to create the results you desire in your job or in your business. No business grows on its, on its own. No business will grow itself. The people are the business. If there are no people in that business, there is no business. Because people, everyone creates something so that people can, can, can buy it. I'm very well, thank you, Haji. How are you doing? Good to see you here. So, Understand that you are either going to have to skill up and then teach other people those skills so that they can grow too in your online business, internet, affiliate, network, or you are going to be the boss and you're going to hire people who you need to have a system in place so they can learn how to build the business for you so that you're working on the business as opposed to working in your business. In other words, you did not buy yourself a job. You are creating a legacy. You're creating generational wealth. You're creating something that impacts other people and you are not tied to the business. When you go on holiday or God forbid something happens to you, it all goes pear shape because you are the business and the business is you. Debbie Jinx, how are you doing? So, assuming you feel you can make it as an entrepreneur, you still need to have a plan for your business. You need to think through some of the rudimentary concerns that people go through when they start a business. When I first started, I did not look at business as a business. I, I was looking at it as a quick back scheme. And most of you do. You look at all these online juice plus, I don't know, Rogan and Field, blah, 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 whatever, forever leaving you. Look at it as some kind of side gig. It's not something, it's not really serious. I'm not really looking to make it happen. I'm just doing it for a bit of money. And even if you're doing it for 200 extra bob a month, you have to put on your entrepreneurial cap or stay with the job and and pour yourself into your job so that you can get that upgrade, that promotion, whatever. Thank you, Julie Busulwa. I see you Mpenzi Designs in the house. Good to see you too. So, you need to think through some of these concerns and I'm going to list them for you. If you have a pen and paper, grab it right now. I'll, I'll wait. Thank you, Mrs. Elizabeth. Um, if you don't have a pen and paper, then tag yourself in this video or post it on your wall so that becomes your video so that you remember these points. Umutoni Brenda, how are you doing? Good to see you. Who are your ideal clients? And who are the best fit for your interests and experience? Who are your ideal clients? Who is that person who you ideally would like to buy from you? If you've never thought about this, it's never crossed your mind, what are you selling? I mean, who are you selling to even? You don't know? You, you know what you're selling. You're selling the cup. But who needs the cup? Who is that person who wants a cup? Why do they want that specific cup? Right? What are their problems? And what would that cup solve for them? That would, This cup is the solution to their problem. So what are their problems that could be solved by your offer, which is your cup, right? Can they afford the cup? And if they can, what is your optimal pricing? Now, when you are an affiliate marketer or a direct sales MLM network marketing, the price is already fixed. You can't change it. But if you're starting your own business, you're going to have to think about pricing and you're going to think about several other things that I'm going to go through as well. So number one, who's your ideal client and are they the best fit for your interests and experiences? What are their problems that can be solved by your offer? Can they afford your product? And if they can, what are you going to charge them? so that they can pay you what do they need to know today so that they can be ready and willing to buy what do they need to know Trey Johnson how are you doing because if you don't if you don't know what they need to know how can you tell them your marketing information remember we said go to the market first before you start selling well what do they need to know so that they can come to the market with you and buy your product in other words you sell they buy who is the competition who's that person next door selling the same cup as you or similar, they have cups, bowls, plates, whatever. Who's that person? Who's that brand? What's that, what's that competition? What is your competitive advantage that your customers should choose your cup as opposed to their cup? What do you bring to the table that makes you unique? I told you already that you're that unique factor, but they don't know that until you step up 
and you have the online world, the digital space. You're not the good old Avon rep or Tupperware who had to go to door, door knocking to show people that they have stuff. Now you have the online space, you have live videos, you have Twitter Periscope, you can do YouTube videos, you can you can record yourself and do audios, you can do so many things online to show people your competitive edge and advantage. How can you best package your cup? Now I'm giving an example of a cup because it's a product. Your product, your service, your platform, that cup represents all that. So you want to package your offer so that your customers recognize it as the best solution to their problem. I have a problem, she has a cup. And I want that cup right now, today. Not tomorrow, not next month, not when my cat comes home, not when my husband is away, nah, none of that. You want them to see your solution as the solution to their problem today and it is essential that they buy now. And that's when that, that scarcity stuff I talked about, that's when it comes into play. That's when you talk about this is an offer. This is buy one, get one free for the next for Easter. This is uh, if you buy one, you get this extra advantage and it is on for Christmas. And you, you, you pick a, an event going on in the rest of the world and you attach your offer to that. Or, or you just say this is on for the next seven days and I'm taking it away and you won't get it at this price ever again. That is when you start creating scarcity. But you, scarcity won't work for nobody if you have not done the going to the market. Brand exposure, promotional, giving value, sharing value, sharing value, sharing value, sharing value, sharing value, darling. Share the value until people know you for who you are and connect you to that product or brand. When they say Nike, they say Julie. You understand? So people start to relate you to a very specific brand that's you or that you promote and they come to you for their solution. Now, you want to ask yourself, how do you reach large numbers of those people, of that clientele, of those customers, quickly, cheaply, and build relationships and awareness and educate them and get them to know you very fast? How do you do that? Again, that comes down to skill sets and that's a very high income skill set. Learning how to market and sell and meet the two in the middle and make a great mix so that you know how long you need to market so that somebody buys. How do you get your clients to try your product? How much time? How much time? Because like I said earlier, you, you are the master of your time. Even if you have to punch in somewhere, you are the master. And if you always tell yourself, I'm always on time, I am the master of my time. It stretches when I need it to and it shrinks when I need it to. So I'm never late. I'm always on time. Everything happens for me and life happens for me. You will never be late for anything. If you even imagine in your mind when you're going somewhere, if you start by envisioning that there's this parking space right next to that doorway where I'm going and it's empty. As I drive in, someone is driving out and I'm right in there. You'll never go to a, to a destination and there's no parking. I never. I, everywhere I go when I'm driving, I'm like, there's a parking space just for me. And it is there. I, it wasn't always like this. It, it's all rebooting of the mind. And you stop believing in all this shit. Life's too short. La, 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 la. YOLO, ba, 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 ba. You, you, no, no, you don't buy into all that because everybody's buying into it. You do your own thing. Do you and create your own hashtags. Your power echoes. Hmm? So, how much time and by what method will you need to market each week? Re understand, it's a weekly job. How often will you market each week? To keep your overheads paid and to, to get the profits coming in and to get your coaching classes filled and to get your orders filled and to meet your monthly or you, your monthly volume and target. You want to do all that and you need to have that done in your mind and on paper and therefore you have a blueprint that you can pass on to either your teammates or your staff or your virtual assistants or your temporary workers or whatever it is you hire to build your business. Patricia Okunu, how are you doing? Most new business owners put in a fraction of their time in the marketing that they need to do to get the clients they want. And then they complain at the end of the month for the work they did not do. You cannot complain about the results you have not got for the work you did not put in. And marketing is a skill. Nobody wakes up knowing marketing. You just learn it. I learned it. Fraser Brooks learned it. Ray Higdon learned it. Tanya Liza learned it. You can learn it too. Are you putting in the time to learn, implement, and then implement over and over again and set aside a time each week just for that? Marketing.
Now, how long and how much investment will it take to become profitable? A very big question that very few, especially online entrepreneurs, ever ask themselves. They think if I invest 500 pounds or dollars in this business today and, and, and then I go and bring two people in, I'll be profitable in a day. I used to be that person. I mean... I, that's what my upline was trying to tell me. My first upline, by the way, not 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 the lady that I finally worked with and is my business partner and is an amazing lady. My my first upline was literally join today, uh, put in five hundred bucks, and then tell two other people, and you're good to go. You're in profit. You're 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 in juice. You're you're millionaire already. Ha! Huh. My goodness, I worked hours i was on my phone every day i was calling people at three in the morning i was sitting up for webinars at 4 a.m i was working like a donkey and i was told all you have to do is invite two people and you're done what happened what went wrong the two people i invited dropped off immediately the other two people i invited one dropped off one one picked up then the one that picked up brought in two people and they dropped off immediately there is always attrition it is normal in the online space you just need to know how to create culture that keeps people around your campfire and they don't drop off like flies. And then you have to understand that if somebody drops off, so what? Every day of the week I'm doing XYZ, I'm putting in two hours of marketing. So if they leave, that's okay. After all, I don't buy everything in, every, in, in the supermarket. I don't buy everything in every shop I walk past. I'm doing exactly the same. The difference is, this is my personal thing. So the, the Namotima is in. So what support do you need to master those skills to keep you on track when times get tough? How do you hold you accountable? Those are the questions you need to ask yourself. I've given you a whole list of things you need to look through before you start a business. So a lot of you keep asking me, how do I start a business? How do you have just given you the blueprint in the last point? Which point is take yourself not too seriously, but take your business a serious business because you are now saying I am here to impact your life with this product service or platform and I want you to come in and take it on board and when other people's money is involved then you get serious because you know that now it's no longer about you it's all about them as well now the final tip because I did say three tips I probably will give you uh, I probably will give you a bonus if you're good so focus 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 Brenda Hill how are you doing Focus, focus, focus. You remember while we were in school, we never used to focus. The teacher is talking about this and you're busy reading uh, uh, Mills and Boons under the table. Did anyone ever do that? I read Mills and Boons under the table like you couldn't believe. I was always reading one or, 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 or eating Kavalagala under the table. And when the teacher looks, I'm like, and I was never really paying that much attention, especially in mathematics. <laughs> I was not I was not attentive because I I had no interest in it. So you need to understand is this thing I'm doing am I interested in it enough to focus to give it the time to grow or am I just looking for a quick back? If that's your your why why you're doing what you're doing <laughs> give up now already. Seriously, I'm giving you the best advice ever. If you're not if you're not committed to, if you're not passionate about, if you're not excited to do this thing, then Pack it in now, save yourself a few good months of auto ship and, and go, go take your, your family on a vacation. Because if you're paying 50 bucks a month, uh, in four months time, you will have 200 bucks. You could go away to, to Blackpool, to, to Devon or whatever it is. You could go in UK or you could go to Moya or whatever. Save yourself that money, take your family on a vacation and have a ton of fun. And you know you spent that money on you and your closed ones. If you're not focused or passionate or excited about what you do but if you are if you're excited you're focused you're passionate and it fires you up and you would give it to your baby even if you were not paid and your if your grandma needed help you'd give them that product and you know that if they did not pay you you would use that product this is what you need to do focus you all know a disco ball how many of you have gone to a disco there's this disco disco ball thing i used to love those things I used to go to discos just to see these things. It's a, it's a round, multifaceted mirror ball. It's usually on the ceiling. And these days they have, you know, they can put it on the table and it goes round and round. And today you can buy one in pound land for a pound. Now, a disco ball is also about breaking up light and scattering it into a million fleeting, faint 
little images across the floor or ceiling or table, depending on where you put it, right? Usually in the ceiling. <clears throat> but it will not really light you up enough if you, need, if you know what I'm saying. Now, too many of you market like a disco ball. You're scattering your seeds into a million different directions without any real target. You are not targeting like looking at that dartboard and I'm going to hit the, the bullseye and there you go. You're not doing that. You are not like a laser beam. There's a very big difference. If you read my post yesterday, I was actually talking about that and I said, you need to be a laser beam in your marketing. You need, you, you need to stop posting weak and general and ineffective marketing messages. What still to the wrong market? People who don't care, who are not looking for your services, who don't really know you because you have not gone out to the market. You have not stepped up and shown people that you do this and you are this. And I'm not talking about if you're in the online marketing space, I'm not talking about splashing your product on your wall until people don't even want to visit your wall. Because that is not marketing, that is spamming. Concentrate your light in one direction and in one spot. Now, I can tell you that the best way to do that on this very platform is by mastering Facebook ads. And you will have that laser beam. And today, just today, tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, for those of you in the American States, you are in the right time. You will learn how to spend $5 a day to attract laser targeted people who are interested in what you offer, in your brand, in you as a person as well because they want to get to know you and they can become your best friends ever. I don't know if someone typed juliscalpoli.com forward slash set. If someone can do that for me again, juliscalpoli.com forward slash set in the comments below. I'll be very grateful. That's your very own VIP invitation to tonight's free mastermind. Two amazing Facebook rock stars. They are pros at Facebook ads. Are going to show you how you can use $5 a day to attract the people you need to your offers. So you start chasing people around Facebook, making that one call, thank you, Paul Soul, and, and, and hoping this person will call you back tomorrow and they don't call you and you, you send them text messages galore and they ignore you. You send them WhatsApp messages and you see they've seen the WhatsApp bloody message and they're just not responding. I used to be that person. You're going to learn how to attract the people you want, build your list, crush it in your business, whether it's a small business, it's a big business, you're, you're the corporate, corporate social media guru, you're in your marketing department, you're going to crush it and you're going to get your manager saying, Hoo -hoo. you're going to get your upline loving you and inviting you wherever. You'll step on your company's leaderboard and you'll step on that stage if you learn how to master Facebook ads. Thank you. Shimbaka Kachaso, how are you doing? Thank you. Jules.com forward slash set is the invitation. Now, what you just posted there is even deeper. It's a private invitation to come sit with me for three blessed days this summer and learn how to put your brand together, how to put your giftings and, and your talent and your experience together, create an amazing cuisine and offer it to the right people and get paid over and over and over again. This summer in August 31st to 1st September, I am holding a private workshop and virtual summit and you are invited. And the details are on that link that Shibasa has just shared with you. And definitely you're welcome. So if you're not in UK or you can't get to UK, uh, you don't have a visa, uh, Omami Takuwade visa, that's no excuse because you can attend this summit in the comfort of your home. Again, details are on that link that the amazing, amazing Chambika has just shared. Yes, proud mama, Aisha bin Muhammad, I'm a proud mama because I am using my giftings to impact lives. So... Tonight, there's a free complimentary zero-cost training for you, 9 p.m. If you can't make it tonight, do not miss out. Register and you will receive a replay of that. At least I think it lasts for seven days. You want to, be, you want to have access to that replay. If you can't attend the live, get registered and get the replay. Juliscalpolis.com forward slash set. So the, market equi the marketing equivalent for a laser beam is niche focus. Focus your niche. Instead of going for the big loaf, go for a slice. Go for a slice of that, of that loaf. I call it niche slicing. Why? Because 
in the online space and in any business whatsoever. If, you, if, For instance, let me give you an example. There's a shop down the road and they sell everything. Milk, chewing gum, cakes, hair products, biscuits, cards, lamps, lights, cups. You know, everything is there's a cacophony of products in the shop, right? But I never think of it as somewhere I'll go for any of those things at all. If anything, I drive a few miles away to pick up more of that same stuff. Yet I could walk, I could literally be at that shop in five minutes. Yet I drive to go shop somewhere else. Why? Because there is no focus. I like to go somewhere and know I'm picking my groceries here. So I go to the fruit market. And I'm picking up my shoes here, so I'll go to town and go to Jane Morgan or Lewis or whatever, or, or Debenhams or Selfridges, whatever. I will not go to this shop because they have not selected me as a special person that they want me to, to walk through. They have not put out an invitation to treat for me because they are not focused. So in picking a niche, you differentiate yourself from the rest of the world, the reps, the distributors, the coaches, the online marketers, the people doing the same business as you. When you pick a niche... When you pick a niche, you're picking a target audience and you're, focused, you're focusing your specific product at them and showing the benefit to them of picking your product as opposed to everyone else's. You will find that sweet spot where your passions, your experiences, your strengths meet an aching need in the marketplace. When you niche, when you get that slice and you decide this is the people I'm serving. Because a lot of people think if I pick a niche, I am excluding everybody else and I'm missing out on all those people. You're not excluding. You're just mastering your marketing so that you attract a specific persona. It does not mean that if other people come to your shop or your store or your business or your product, you will send them away. It just means you did your work so well, other people are now thinking they are your market. And that is great. Like my little man behind here does. Yeah. Yes, it's great. You see, when you attract other people outside of your niche, you're not going to send them away. But there are some times where you will send them away. If you're a heart surgeon and you have literally specifically said, I'm a heart surgeon, it is outside on your business, heart surgeon, that is what you do. If somebody walks in and says, oh, I've got a sore on my leg and I need you to help me, you just might tell them, go to the, the general practitioner down the road. Yes, you'll get to a point where you send people away because they are the wrong target market for you. Uh, yesterday, I was sharing and singing, singing praises on one of my clients, an amazing accountant who's literally applied the lessons we've put together and we, she's, she's pushed herself and pushed herself out of that envelope and box and she's literally sending away clients. And one of my personal guarantees is if you work with me for three months, you will have attracted at least your first client in that window of time if you apply the lessons I teach. And she has done that in, in less than seven weeks. She's literally sending clients away. And uh, I told her that's a quality problem to have, but you want to set up systems in place whereby you're not sending clients away that you need, rather that you are literally so busy, you're literally so busy, you are, you are earning what you want, and therefore you can tell people to go away. So, when you find that spot where your passions, experiences, strengths meet an aching need in the market, please focus on there. Don't start to say, oh, but there's that chicken I didn't catch. You're trying to chase ch 10 chickens. You're not going to catch them. Mama Lala, Justin, how are you doing? I see you. So understand that it takes time. It takes time. Darling, it's taken you time from when you were a baby to your age right now, whatever age you are. So do not rush things. Yes, money loves speed and success loves speed and momentum. Yes, all those things are marketing terms that people use to get you to take action, especially in the internet marketing space. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mindset, I love those things I see across my screen. But the fact remains that you need to give your seed time to germinate. Your seed is whatever it is you planted. Your seed is whatever it is you put in your money, your time, your resources. Give it time to grow. Give it time to flower. Give it time for the fruit to come out. Give those, that fruit time to ripen. And then you'll have a harvest like never before. You will get noticed by the right people. Because you, you are worth it. If you niche in, if you know your marketing, yes, it can't be rushed. Thank you, mindset. It can't be rushed. Nobody ever wakes up from a baby and they are 30 years in overnight. It just Overnight success is overrated. Please don't buy into it because it just doesn't exist. It just doesn't. So, 
you will get noticed by the right people if you communicate your message over and over and over again if you market if you promote if you align with the right people, if you are a life student and you're always learning new things and picking out what works for you and implementing it in your life, do not be rushed by another person's success because they are walking a different journey. They are walking a different journey from yours. They could be at chapter 20 and you're on chapter zero and you're thinking, why is that dash and doing better than me? Please don't compare. Comparitis, as my mentor Ray says, is a disease and a bad one. It is, it is not your friend. Be consistent and clear in your message. Speak the language of the problems of your client and they will self-select for you. Focus on building awareness. Focus on that relationship. Don't focus on the money. The money will come when you build awareness and you build relationships and you become the go-to specialist or expert that people want to go to. When you find a good niche, soon your clients recognize that the tremendous value offer. It is the law. It really is. So let's find that niche for you, shall we? Mm, we're about to end this live, and I want you to I want to help you find that niche. So I'm gonna give you my tricks in finding that niche for you because I don't want to leave you hanging. Uh, so it's important to pick a group of people. When you're niching in, you have a product and you you want to find a group of people that are your tribe. I like to call it a call it a tribe because you know in Africa we have tribes. Deal with it, right? So you want to find out people that you love to work with. That's the topmost. People that you love to work with. That means people who are like you. Funny thing, isn't it? So if you don't love on you, <laughs> so look at you and look at your characteristics. If you don't know who you are, ask your friends, family, people you've worked with or you work with, who do they think you are and what do they love about you? Ask because in asking you receive, you'll get the answers you're looking for. So you are going to look for people that you would love to work with. In other words, people who have the same characteristics as you because you love on you. If you hate you, you need to look for people who would appreciate or value much of your life experiences, your trainings and your accomplishments. People who want to be like you when you grow up, right? People that have big challenges or problems that, that are big enough that they regularly spend money now on the solution that is similar to what you are promoting. This is a very important one. People that have big challenges or problem, problems that are big enough that they are regularly spending money to solve that problem. People to whom you will add a lot of value, not just a bit of value, but a lot of value, right? So find those people. People to whom you will have an incredible and credible value provider you will become that incredible, incredible value provider. You want to find those people. You know where the competition is not too entrenched because there are people who want to join the crowd. They want to be part of the crowd. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those green ships. I'm not the white ship. I'm the green ship. <laughs> Have you ever seen a green ship? There you are. That's how unique I am. So you want to go where the competition is not too entrenched. You don't want to go in a place where there is nobody even talking about that product. Although it's good to be a pioneer, you will take a long time. But if you want to, pr to promote or, 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 or create something that people already use, then find that niche where the competition is not so large. It's a huge brand. You can't even compete. Although I can tell you now that competition is in, in your mind. As long as you are taking steps every day to step up, to show up, you will stand beside those big brands and you will stand your ground. So, can you reach those people in large numbers? Quickly and cheaply. And I'm telling you now, Facebook ads will quickly and cheaply bring those people to you if you join us tonight and learn the lessons. So, the fact that you pick a, pick a, a niche does not mean you cannot keep coaching your current diverse clients or, or, or serving or, or selling the, your products or, or, or your service to them. It's just that you've picked a very specific market and you're focused on, on serving them and they too will self-select for you. So understand your clients' needs and problems. Speak their language. Know how your service delivers a specific benefit or, that, or, or, or desire that they value. Know the competitive landscape. Know how to reach large numbers of your ideal clients. They are, 
you know, their magazines, their meetups, their BSN meetings, their associations, their business forums, their social media. Oh my goodness, social media. Stand out and be recognized for something. That's something you want people to recognize you for. Stand up and you will get paid 10 times what others get paid today. 10 times is actually a very, very conservative estimate. It will take time, but you will get paid. So, I hope you've learned some value today. Like I said, the resources are in the pinned comment. If you are here and you're trying to build community, trying to build an audience, trying to build a custom base, trying to build a ministry, trying to build a charity and a philanthropy base, trying to build your list, you better, you better reserve your seat in the pinned comment below. It is jewelscarpolitocom forward slash set. If you are wanting to spend three fantastic days with me, whether virtually or physically, in the beautiful city of Liverpool, then you better check out jewelscarpolitocom forward slash mastermind. You are welcome to Liverpool between the 30th of August and the 1st of September, and I will rock your world. I'm not even joking. Rise and shine to your awesome destiny. You know you want to. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for giving me your time. Uh, if you're watching me on YouTube, absolutely check the description below. You'll find some resources that will rock your world. And if you have not yet subscribed, absolutely subscribe. My YouTube, it's all about serving you. It's all set out in in playlists so you can find what you're looking for faster. I post a new video every Monday. I think I posted out one out yesterday and i appreciate you go make an amazing wednesday and rest of the week until friday when we'll meet again bring your questions i have the answers let's rock and roll god bless you good night